okay good day guys welcome back to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today's lesson we are going to model the shear wall on the ground floor um, to the first floor so go back to start pro then i'll create this new view okay new view yes okay so go to the isometric view i've created the points where my shear wall is going to be so you can measure it on your autocad file which you collected from me you can measure this distance and place a node at this point also at this point and at this point these four corners then we will go there so from there i'll go back to geometry then there's this parametric models so i'll click parametric model add then put your wall okay then right click that's the first model so type undefined you change it to wall meshing method you want it to be standard and this so you can put your target size element so the smaller it is the more accurate your mesh is so this is it okay so subtype you can leave it if you leave it as wall tank and you take it to rcdc go to design it as a wall tank so leave it as undefined so leave it then you can decide to add opening but in this case you're not going to add opening so you click it okay so this is the first one the next includes this the next one you are going to do now is you add to this back point okay let's click same thing wall undefined yes okay yes then the last point click add then this side okay okay so we are done with basically the three walls at this point i'm not going to add the wall i'm going to, i can decide to just use a deep beam at this point i can decide to use a deep beam or i can decide to add wall and open create opening but it's going to be complex for me so i'll use a deep beam for myself so i'm about to start so next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to delete select my columns and delete the columns Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'll go to my mesh surface one, then I will merge mesh. Yes. Then the next one, surface two, I also merge it. Then surface three, I also merge it. Okay, so I have this. And the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my node cursor. Okay, let me select, let me go back to geometry so I can move this dot. Okay. So select this end node, select them, okay. So translational repeats in the y direction and the height of the floor is from our elevation is 3.9 meters. So going back to start pro, the height is 3.9. Okay, so you can decide to link step to get it. So, link step, yes. Then from there, you mesh again. You create another mesh. So you go back to geometry, then parametric model, then you add mesh. So I can minimize this, minimize this, minimize this, then add. Okay, so target element size. Let me use this. I can decide, but this will be too small, so I'll use 0 0.3. Okay, wall, yes. Okay, minimize this, minimize it, preview, add. So this part again. So zoom in so you don't make mistake. Zero point three or so. Okay. Then the last point. Minimize and also minimize. So the last point is this. Okay. So let's click zero point three. Okay. So now I can decide to delete the columns. So then go to the top view. 
select your beam cursor and light the beams at that location you can set to highlight all everywhere then go to the isometric view then you see the columns have been selected so you can delete the columns okay so i'll merge surface 6 merge it's also merge it's also merge okay so you can see the shear wall so let's go back to geometry and check it in 3d and let's see okay view display whole structure okay so you can see this so 3d rendering is not going to show because we've not assigned properties to it yet but we have something similar to this thank you so thank you for watching today's video please if you have any question make sure you drop it in the comment section thank you very much